Hi, this is Alex Seligson with Spotlight Home Inspections. We are back with Tom and Sherry of St. Louis Radon. We're going to be talking about uh, radon, the mitigation process. So let's say I had a buyer uh, do a home inspection and they ordered the radon test through you guys and, and we got the results back and it turns out there's high levels of radon. So what is the next step? We're looking at mitigation for the home, which is a process to reduce those levels. And a mitigation system essentially is comprised of PVC piping and it starts from in the basement area, typically an unfinished area, and it routes up through the roof line um, or to the outside and above the roof line. There's an inline fan, creates a vacuum, and pulls air from underneath of the home. Mm -hmm. I have, you know, on the inspections, seen fans that are done on the outside, and sometimes you see them that run through the inside, and they're, you know, mounted in the garage. I mean, is there a preferred way of doing the mitigation process, or, or what are some of the, you know, benefits of, of each? There, it, it's personal preference, mm -hmm. actually, and as far as performance goes, the performance shouldn't be different whether we install the system on the outside of the house or from the basement through the garage and through the roof line, like we see over here. Um, it's aesthetic for some people that you don't see the pipe on the outside of the house. Right. We have other customers that like to have the fan on the outside of the house so they can access it if necessary. You know, when we bring it through the roof line, it's, it's in the attic, so it's harder to get to. Mm -hmm. um, some people don't like us to penetrate the roof, although we have never seen any problems with doing so or haven't had any problems with leaks or anything. So it's just kind of personal preference. And then okay. also, not all systems can go from the basement through the garage. There's there's more to it than that and right. how the house is designed and how we think the system is going to perform. So they're both not even always an option. Gotcha. So are there different types of systems depending on the type of house? The house design, the age, the size, all of these things come into play. And mm -hmm. so for uh, houses with a ground floor area that exceed 2,000 square feet, we start looking at using larger equipment. We'll use uh, larger venting piping, the four inch piping versus the three. Uh, we may be using a larger fan as well. Gotcha. Um, some of the older houses with tighter soil, if you get down in University City or, or uh, just down in South St. Louis, you're going to be using probably a higher suction capacity fan, which is different than a higher air velocity fan. Something that will work up against the clay and the tighter soil that mm -hmm. you find down there. Okay. So if the house is on a slab versus uh, you know, with a crawl space, does it impact the design of the mitigation system at all? It can, especially if they're combined. So some houses will have an addition put on and mm -hmm. it's got a crawl space underneath of that addition or it's a slab on grade. Um, if you have a house that's got a set of footings and you're creating a vacuum in that main body of the home, the vacuum you're creating from the radon system, the pipe going underneath of the home, is not gonna pull air from another area that's trapped outside of those footings. Sure. So a lot of times though, you know, you'll have a small crawl space on the house and we'll put the mitigation system into the basement and you really never had a problem over in the crawl space area. Mm -hmm. Now, on the other side of that, if you've had a problem coming from the crawl space area, the radon system that's in the main body of the basement wouldn't have done anything for it. So there are houses out there that'll two radon systems. Um, there are chances uh, in some designs that we can build from the primary system over to the crawl space and still utilize just one radon fan mm -hmm. and have a second pipe that's going into the crawl space. We could probably do a whole video on crawl spaces um, independently because they can get a little bit more complicated. They're certainly a little bit more expensive, mm -hmm. but um, it seems more often than not if the, small, if the crawl space is a smaller space, um, we're able to install the mitigation system in the basement area, retest in both areas and, and seemingly to be okay. Um, crawl spaces in general, if you're needing to go the full distance on the resolve, they may require a plastic tarping that covers the entire area mm -hmm. to create the barrier that the concrete would normally do in a basement. Right. We'll put the vacuum down underneath of that plastic. Okay. A lot of times I see, you know, on the home inspection that the radon system will be installed, installed right into the, the sump pit. Is, is this a good idea? Do you, how does it affect the mitigation process? It's not a bad idea. I, I don't think it's our go-to. Mm -hmm. um, we typically core drill through the concrete and create its own position. Right. I think it's a more solid design. Um, the kids are down in the basement kicking a soccer ball. They hit the machine and it's not going to be a problem. Um, you can put them into the sump lids, but I also think that at the point that your basement's flooding, you don't want to contend with the radon system being into the sump. That's so a good point, yeah. 
If we put it into the sump plug, there's a few things that you might want to consider, and that would be a quick disconnect. So in the time of need where you need to get into that sump, you can quickly release the radon system and have access to it. Yeah. Um, we've done it several times by homeowner request, but by and large, I would probably say, let's, let's go ahead and put it into the concrete. Now, that being said, we always put an airtight lid over the top of that sump opening. Sure. And the reason for that is not necessarily that radon is going to continue to come up once the radon system's in. It's more that the home air is going to get pulled down into the sump channels and then back out to the radon system. So there's a bit of an energy penalty. Yeah. And it reduces yeah. the vacuum from the radon system. Okay. How fast would you say that the mitigation system starts to work once it's installed? The system starts to work in about 12 hours. Yeah. Okay, and so we usually set our tests on the delay after we install a mitigation system. Mm -hmm. We set a test, we put it on a 24 hour delay and pick it up 48 hours after that. Okay. Well, thank you very much for the information. Um, definitely valuable. And everyone stay tuned for some more videos.